So in this set of x-rays, we are going to be looking at variable MAS x-rays. So on these three that we're going to talk about, the KBP stayed the same. Every one of these was shot with a KBP of 40. So exact same force of x-rays hit each one of these three films. The only thing we changed was the MAS. So how many numbers of x-rays are hitting the film? Constant KBP, variable MAS. So these are the ones we're going to be looking at. We'll start here. This one here has an MAS of 2.5. Here we increased it to 5.0, and the bottom one has a 10.0. So first thing you want to look at when you're looking at MAS x-rays here is the color of the background. So those are x-rays just going through air. You can see on this first one here, we have a pretty gray background. Here, it's definitely darker. And when we get down to our last one, it's the blackest. So as we increase our MAS, things are getting black. The blacks are getting blacker. Our darks are getting darker. Um, you can also look at the step wedge on all three of these. We will look at these in more detail, but there's not a ton of change, right? The blacks right here, one, two, and three, they just get blacker. The darks get darker, the blacks get blacker as we go through changing MASs. So this extra here is one we had previously. So here's where our MAS is at 2.5. We can see the step wedge. Let's count those like we did in the last x-ray. We see about three, and then we have that sea of white. We look at the skull. It looks pretty white. And our background here is a fairly gray color. Anytime you see a really gray background, it means your MAS is probably a little bit too low. We need more numbers. You want to be able to see white on every x-ray and black on every x-ray and then shades of gray in between it. If How many shades of gray you'd want depends on if you're taking an abdomen or a thorax or an abdomen, what kind of contrast level you want. You'll adjust that with your KVP, but you definitely want to have enough numbers to be able to see black on your film. So in this x-ray, we are going to be looking at one where we have 5.0 as our MAS. So we doubled the number of x-rays hitting the film from the previous one that we had just looked at. So in this, if we count our steps, we can still see those sort of three to four steps, and then it goes out into white. And that makes sense. We increased the number of x-rays hitting the film. We made the darks darker, but we didn't increase the force, so there's no reason why suddenly we should be able to see thicker things. If we look over at our skull then, we're just seeing where something that was completely bright white before has become a little bit darker. The darks became darker. We haven't really affected things like our bright white structures, where these densest structures are of the skull, are still really bright white. We haven't affected that. We've just made areas that are dark, darker. Now on this one here, we have gone up to 10.0. So we've doubled our MAS again. We've doubled the number of x-rays hitting it. We can still here see about four steps and then it becomes a sea of white. However, in these four steps, they are getting darker. So they are darker here than they were at 2.5 MAS. And when we go over and we look at our skull, we still have really bright white structures. We didn't increase our force we just made the blacks blacker and the darks darker. We're changing MAS, so we're just affecting density here. So hopefully you guys can tell when you're looking at these different x-rays. Now just how different that these, the background, let's start with that. We went from a gray background, move over to 5.0, our background got darker, and we got it to 10.0 and it got even darker. If we look at our step wedge, the first step here, light gray, medium gray, dark gray. We made our darks darker. You look at the skull, bright white, darks getting darker, but still bright white, still bright white, just made everything even darker. So when we're looking at MAS, we're just looking at density. We are making the darks darker. It doesn't affect penetration, doesn't affect force, doesn't affect the energy of the x-ray beam. None of that you can affect with your MAS. You can just make things denser. You can make your blacks blacker.